My name is Barbara Lewis. I'm the current chairman of the National Executive Committee for the Third Age Trust, the national representative body for U3As in the UK. Welcome to our national conference and AGM. U3A today. Pretty amazing. The AGM lies at the heart of our weekend. Everyone's chance to hear from the chairman. Total participating votes will be 687. And the treasurer. Of course, we have this year stop bulk mailing. Make points. My U3A is concerned. Ask that. questions. Could you confirm? whether this was policy and get responses. We hear you, we hear you, and we will discuss this to make sure that this is not an issue in the future. Group delegates elect new officers and pass new resolutions. I can say this AGM 2013 is closed. <laughs> but our conference is far from closed. We have a variety of recommended guest speakers. Okay, so what I'd like to do in the next sort of hour or so is consider a world of 24 hour rhythms. How this circling of the earth has dictated so much of our biology. And then talk about the importance of the eye and its other role, its critical role in regulating internal timing processes. Royal National Lifeboat Institution. Say those words, <coughs> what springs in your mind as an image? I'm pretty confident that some of you will have an image such as this. This I call the heroic rescue. If you've kept up to date with your lifeboats, it won't be that sort of an image that springs to mind though, it will be something like this. State of the art, modern lifeboat, no prejudice from me, of course, best in the world. <laughs> that the reason why I have come is twofold. First, that you were gracious enough to invite me. And secondly, that I do feel the most enormous, unstinting admiration for the U3A as an organization. Conscious of the number of groups that you have, the 900 plus across the country, and the fact that you're total membership is not only greater than that of any of the three major parties on its own. <laughs> to me, conscious of what you do, the range of activities on offer, the opportunities for socialization, truly the U3A is a life enhancer. Wow. So the AGM and high profile guest speakers. But this weekend, we're trying to get across who we are, what we do, and how we do it. Our 12 regional trustees are all here. They act as the link between the national executive and local U3As. I am Jenny Carley, and I am your trustee for the Northwest region. In Cheshire, we've got 32 U3As and 14,165 members. In Cumbria, we have 11 U3As. We like the connection with national and regional. We like to put a face to the NEC and the trustees, and then you know who you're talking to. Our three national executive subcommittees are also well represented and ready to talk about their roles. So the communications committee is looking at making sure that the message gets through uh, to internally to all U3As and also externally to other organisations which we hope will be able to help. Generally the aims are the development of U3As throughout the whole of the UK 
in both areas, developing new UCAs, but also providing whatever support is needed for existing UCAs. And to that end, we produce leaflets or advice sheets, discussion papers, to help facilitate this process throughout the regions. They are here and they will be available for every single um, delegate here this weekend. I suppose we are really a think tank for new initiatives. Uh, under our umbrella comes the Resource Centre, Summer Schools, the National Conference Programme, Sources, uh, Group Leader Support and Training, in-depth study, shared learning project, subject advisors, and the list goes on and on. Not only can delegates take away all these books, leaflets, and advice sheets, but they can air their views, receive help and guidance, and even let the executive know what more they'd like. Also much in evidence are displays from our regional networks and from the individual U3As, suggesting new projects and showing what can be achieved. The U3A has helped me and, and, and other authors to uh, um, publish their books. Uh, most U3A members require some assistance with, uh, with the marketing side of, of the book. It's uh, easy enough to write a book and, and even get it printed, but to, to, to get it on the bookshelves and, and sell it is entirely another matter. And um, U3A is, is developing a process with a, a publisher called Umbria uh, press who are um, helping members to, uh, to do just that. Helping each other really is the keynote, so we also have two sessions of more formal themed breakout groups in which delegates discuss and share problems, propose and learn different ways to do things, and even take up new skills. Okay, don't forget there's a rest there before you come in again. Now, you need to mean what you're singing. It's so scary, really scary. Okay, from the beginning. One, two, three, four. It's so scary, really The lady I was together. talking to last night, she said that they do a monthly check on their new members by phone mm. and then they do another check three months later mm. to make sure that they're getting out of U3A what they thought they would get. We did that. Mm. And then this year, with are all white and fancy. <laughs> You're such a sound stick in the mud, aren't you? Nothing new for you, just get the slippers on your back and... Your next line having been called stick in the mud is that's not what this is about and you know very well. That's your next line. One, two, three. That is not what this is about, as well you know. We had, sorry, we, we've Why had members who say we, you're sending too many emails. Mm -hmm. yeah, please, that's please, that's you know, yes. strike, strike us off your list. Yeah. And we well, have well, done so, fine. obviously, so. but um, it's surprising how many people have actually said that. Mm -hmm. And some people have emails and never read them. Yes. <laughs> and don't even open them because they've been set up by the grandchildren. Now, with the downstroke, I want you to hit it with the back of that fingernail. And with the upstroke, you play it with your thumb, with, with your thumbnail. That way, it keeps it sharper. You don't hurt your fingers too much. So let's have a go at that. All right. Ready? One, two, three, four.
Practices, discussions, and the exchange of ideas continue informally throughout the conference. Even at dinner? Well, perhaps not for long. We do have entertainment. It's terrific to just hear people talking, like-minded people, much like yourself, but from all over the country and from Scotland and Wales as well, and they just talk about the problems and the, and the good things and the bad things. I feel very happy to be made aware of U3A as a bigger entity than just my U3A or the U3A where I belong. All the time you feel you're learning something new, you're getting a different glance on something that you thought you knew all about, and it's great. I like the company, and I like the fun, and I certainly like the speakers who have been excellent. It's good fun. There is a social side to it, as well as the theoretical side. What you couldn't recreate are the breakout groups, the informal networking, the chats over dinner, where you learn so much about how your U3A could do things better. And I'm certainly going back to our U3A. I'm not a committee member, but the committee will learn about some of the things which I feel we could be doing better. And I've been very impressed by the organisation. I was particularly pleased there were so many stewards that helped me find my way around. It's like having a U3A experience all over three days. Wonderful. I think every U3A should try and come to this conference. Wouldn't that be just wonderful? Do try to make sure your U3A is represented next time. <laughs>